Eruption sequence of permanent dentition is probably one of the most harped upon subjects of all time in dental school. And I think it's one of the most important things that have been stored in my long-term memory that have been the most useful actually. Um, especially in terms of other subjects such as ortho or pediatrics and um, all the other specialties actually. And so I thought it would be useful to organize this in a visual manner in which it could be actually stored into brains instead of long and long charts of numbers that I really could not <laughs> force into my brain, into my long-term memory in the least sense. And so um, this is a solution that I've found to be very effective. And basically what this is is just a diagram, a visual diagram of the eruption sequence. So imagine your best friend turn sideways like this. Sorry, not the best artist ever. Also, I'm holding a camera with my hand, so kind of paralyzed. So if you imagine him or her like this, her teeth would be like that, right? So her maxillary is this row her mandibular teeth are this row and then it's a central incisor lateral canine first second first second third so now you, we've basically made a pattern out of which the teeth erupt in sequence it's kind of like the passcode in samsung phones samsung galaxy phones where you have to do the little matrix dot connecting things in order to open up the phone, except this is a lot bigger. But it is very doable, actually. Let me just show you and prove to you that I can do this right now. 6, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 10, 12, 10, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 13, 12, 15, 17, 21, 17, 21. And so it's kind of messy, but it is doable. So basically these are the months or sorry the years in which they erupt. So it's 6 6 6 7 7 8 9 9 10 10 11 10 12 10 12 11 12 11 12 11 13 12 15 17 21 17 21. And so it becomes kind of like a signature your signature, you've done it so many times that you can probably do it in your sleep. It's muscle memory. It just comes to you naturally. And if you can make this eruption sequence like your signature, where you can draw it out like this, then it just becomes so much easier to learn. Now, granted, this, become, this looks messy, but in my head, I can see it. So, it's not a feat of genius in order to get this. It's just some repetition and some tactic. So now, what the tactic is, is to see this in a pattern. So, 666, six, six, that's kind of like a triangle of sixes, right? 666. Six, six. Seven, seven. So, it's counting upwards. 778910. Seven, so now, some of you probably noticed that I skipped this number, skipped that number, skipped that number. I found that you don't really need to memorize that, those numbers in order to accurately solve problems. So I've just kind of excluded them out. So it's 666-778910. So 778910, counting up. Okay. And then starting from the premolars, it becomes 1011, 1012. So 11 plus 1, right? 11... Uh, 10, 11, 10, 12, 10, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12. So these two are the same. And this was basically counting up from 10, right? 10, 11, 10, 12, 10, 12, 11, 12. So plus one here, same here, and then plus one here. And then these two are the same. And then it becomes the second molar that's erupting. 11, 13, which are two prime numbers. 
and 12 15 which are actually divisible by 3 both of them so it's 4 times 3 5 times 3 and then 1721 1721 how I memorized this was I just dropped the 1 and just memorized it as 7 times 3 is 21 7 times 3 is 21 or maybe you can think of it as the ages that you would be getting out of uh, high school and also getting out of college who knows so this is basically how I remembered it and the rhythm that I remembered it in was 666 7 7 8 9 9 10 10 11 10 12 10 12 11 12 11 12 11 13 12 15 17 21 17 21 so I kind of chunked them which is actually another learning technique um 666 so a triangle of sixes seven seven okay six 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 and then seven seven eight nine nine ten eight nine nine ten eight nine nine ten ten eleven ten twelve ten twelve eleven twelve so you just have to memorize these two numbers and these two are basically the range from this to this right so ten eleven ten twelve ten twelve eleven twelve and then this canine that's the only one missing from the anteriors is the same thing as this one so eleven twelve eleven eleven twelve and then the last ones are pretty easy because this one's like prime numbers. This one's divisible by 3, 12, 15, 17, 21. It's, as I told you, either the ages of when you get out of high school and when you get out of college or just drop the one, 7 times 3 is 21. So there you have it. Um, I encourage you to just go over the patterns and just go over the the years just a couple times maybe every time you have a test on this and invariably you will have this in your brain hopefully in the long term brain at least the patterns will stick with you for a very very long time thanks for listening